everybody. How y'all doing? Are you a-okay in your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. We ain't gonna be cooking today, y'all family. Now, today is just a little teeny kitchen talk. For this, you know, keep in touch with you. You know, we are in the Easter season. Okay? And, you know, there are dishes that traditionally people eat at Easter yes the main one is the escovitch fish escovitch fish and I am just checking in with you to let you know if you are so new right on over here or if you have been here for a long time and you did not realize that I had an escovitch video in depth up I'm just telling you I'm gonna be leaving two videos one how to fry your fish and the other one, how to get your fish becomes escoviched. You will hear all the details in that video or you'll see escoviched fish as opposed to just some fish fry. Okay, family, we had some camera problems there, but nevertheless. So I'm saying in that, in that video, in those videos, you will see the difference or in one of those videos, you'll see the difference of the authentic Jamaican escovitch fish as opposed to just fried fish that is an old time favorite all over not just Jamaica at Easter time when it's properly done it's really nice with bun people say me never eat fish and bun with pudding with our dough bread and also with bami and festival okay those are some of the things that you have it with and I have I have the video for the bami too, how you can get your bami fry up properly. You can get your bami fried and then steamed. So I'll be leaving a whole list of videos for you to go check out. Now, at Easter time, there is always a pudding on the table. Always a pudding. To be honest, I have not given you a lot of puddings. I have only the Jamaican um, yellow belly sweet potato. And I have a low-key corn, low corn milk pudding. Low-key is like, you know, home. And you feel like you eat piece of pudding and you slap up something. It wasn't an official corn milk pudding. I am going to give you a pudding. Not going to tell you what kind of pudding. I am going to be giving you a pudding recipe for Easter. You're on your Easter table, you know. There must be escovitch fish. If, if it is that you're entertaining or you will be entertaining. There must be escovitch fish. There must be a pudding. So I am going to be giving you a pudding. If I can give you two, I will, but I'm not so sure. Also, I am working on for like people who just want to eat vegetables, you know, veggies, because you know, say the Latin season, we're in it and it not finished till Good Friday. I'm going to be working on probably one or two vegetable dishes for you. Not necessarily people who just eat vegetable. Other people want vegetable, but I'm working on the on the vegetable dish, okay? That you can add your 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 your, your what starch, your starch, your, what what you call a camera girl, um, your rice, your staple too. I'll be working on a vegetable dish that you can use, whether your pasta, whatever staple you want, okay? So. I'm working assiduously on those for you. I'll be coming out with them. Just here checking in on you. Make sure you go buy your fish. I'm not sure if in other countries at this time the price of the fish. But in Jamaica now, them are real. The fish them down here are wear um, Victoria's Secret underwear. Meaning they are really expensive. Them are wear Victoria's Secret panty the fish them down here. Meaning the price is hop sky high. You know what I'm saying? And try to remember to choose family when you're doing fish. Choose fish that can take frying, that holds firm. Holds firm. Pink parrot, snapper, whatever snapper. Don't use butterfish. Butterfish is for steaming and for stewing. Okay? Some people use banga mary. Yes, you can use banga mary, but it's not so much of a firm fish. Okay, it is not so much of a firm fish. If you understand how to fry the banga mary, you can get it nice. I might do for you a banga mary fry fish video showing you. You have got to know how to fry that fish, or else when you are ready to turn it, 
when you're lifting it one side will just come right up and you see the bone in between it it's not a firm nature fish but you can you can try it okay and i was about what was i about to say again yes please be reminded that the fishes that you have fried must be properly cooled family the escovitch pickle also must be properly cooled before you make an attempt to compact them to layer them and to pack and to close them up make sure they are properly cooled what is gonna happen debbie if they're not properly cooled okay when you fry those fishes and they are crispy and nice and you make that escovitch pickle and you put it on it and the fish is not firm it's not properly cooled when you put them together and cover or wrap it the heat will sweat the fish them are going to sweat it at the heat and when you go back and look for crispy fried escovitch fish you're going to have soft fish and like if you're not like them old for like them old for melt with. did you hear me family make sure the fish that you have fried and the escovitch pickle are properly cooled okay another thing make sure wherever you're frying and you're stocking the fish no flies are there because if those flies are there and even one of those flies just perch on any of that fish you know when fly perch on something and then leave them weird you know the end program of it it is maggots so if that it is that you leave your fish out and the fly perches on it and you put the escovitch pickle that won't stop it when you open it so you have a maggot all over that is not nice so be careful that you're away from flies perching on the fish them when them fry be careful that the escovitch pickle and the fishes that you have fried are properly cool before you put them together just a little tip for you to ensure that your easter table is in good order and please send me some pictures i want to say thank you so much i've gotten so many pictures over the weekend so many people have done the mustard flavored fried chicken so i've gotten this one it was so pretty i don't remember the name of the person to give her a shout out it was so pretty she said debbie look it was really pretty she make him a one look like fool i don't care i don't mind that i want you to do yours so many pictures have been coming in and i like that i want that i want to see what is happening when i share with you as long as it's okay with you if you consider us a family send me pictures you're sending them to me it doesn't matter if you get a fail send them to me okay i will look and then we can go from there next time you'll do better okay i want to thank you so much for your love i want to thank you so much for your support remember to keep your notifications on kind of know so when they're coming up we welcome you know what i'm saying so thank you so much again for your love we all appreciate you right on over here family and everything from my jamaican family to wherever you are it's just love peace blessings and i'm anticipating for you a blessed holy happy easter with woolly pa fry fish woolly pa bun. bun recipes out there i will try to squeeze in one more bun recipe for you family i will try okay so that's just it that was just i wanted to connect with you to let you know those are important tips for your escovitch fish okay debbie from donga yard bless no stress